100 years ago today, the father of the nation, George Kittle Price, was born. He grew up like most of the children of his day, under colonial rule, where there was no electricity, little, if any, running water, no modern plumbing, and none of those basic things we today take for granted. George Kittle Price fought many uphill battles, transforming himself into what many Belizeans see him as. A virtuous man and someone who would be chosen to lead this nation to independence. A revolutionary and determined man, relentless in his pursuit of our right to be an independent nation. Others said the Belizean hero, national builder, a worker, a servant of the people, a force of nature in the form of a statesman, an intellectual change agent with a soft demeanor but with a warrior spirit. Some others said he was the epitome of humility, selfless service, and one love of country. I was amazed at one who said he was a lion, a true servant of the people. Another said, beloved father to our beautiful country, Belize, and our people. Since the passing of Price on September 19, 2011, the leadership of the People's United Party has been gathering at his resting place, the Lord Ridge Cemetery, where his life would not be mourned, but celebrated. We're here because we must never forget that we are a part of a human family, and as such, it is our duty to help one another. That is why our party, we say, serve the people. We understand that those words mean far more than just a nice slogan. For us, it is a way of life. It was Price's way of life. Price died at age 92, leaving an immense legacy. One filled with many accolades, including Belize's highest honor, the Order of National Hero, and the respect of Belizeans across the political divide. George Price was the child of Belize. Belize gave birth to him and nurtured him, and thus he was sent to fulfill the mission of his creator, and not necessarily to fulfill the desires of his parents. Much has been written, said, and remembered about the accomplishments of George Price. And one such singular accomplishment has been the attainment of our sovereign Belizean independence with all our territories intact. Under his leadership, Belize experienced the introduction of universal adult suffrage in 1964, 54, I'm sorry. Prior to this time, only propertied males could vote. Today, every adult Belizean, 18 years and older, has the right to exercise his or her vote. A remarkable achievement by a man missioned to serve his Belizean people. Then there was the achievement of internal self-government in 1964, which would serve as the precursor or forerunner to what would become Mr. Price's most coveted achievement the attainment in 1981 of our Belizean political independence. Hippolyta Novella, News 5.